Hey guys, I want to paint you a picture, okay? You own a local game store. MetaZoo says, hey, you're really important to us. In fact, you are the most important thing to us is gameplay at local game store, which is correct. That is the correct way to run a game store. Pokemon has Pokemon Knights, Digimon, you every game store, every game wants a game store to promote gameplay. It's obvious, right? It's about community. It's about new players, old players helping new players learn the game, having a place to belong. That is what it is to me. That is what it's always been since elementary school, Magic the Gathering. We had a Wizard of Coast store actually next to JC Penny where I lived. I would walk to that store almost every Friday night. I mean, it was a lot safer back then. This was before 9-11, right? And it was what it was. I enjoyed the community. I, I loved, I went, I played Magic at NYU. I played Magic in William Mary Law School. I love the communities I was part of. But that was a local game store providing game space, gameplay, judges sometimes, employees, product, sleeves, whatever it is to foster a community. A community that isn't online, a community that is physically there, community where you talk and they know it's like cheers they know who you are right that is the exact thing alpha investment has destroyed and i can take meta zoo as the core example um alpha investment doesn't know why this is failing but i can explain this he's asking his uh viewers how come this failed you are a local game store you get approached by mike waddell and he's saying hey you can buy this product from me for $70 and you can sell it for $140, no problem. This is a hot product. And you're like, all right, sign me up. All right, you get the product for $70 and you try to sell for $140, no one buys. You try to sell for $100, no one buys and Mike is mad at you and he wants to pull you out. You try to sell for $80, you try to sell for $50, you try to sell for $70, you, 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 you are desperate to move... You are a local game store. This is not an investment to you. This is something that you need to sell at a profit and then get cash flow, use that cash flow, and buy whatever the new product is, maybe one piece, right? And then sell that new product. You're not sitting on a warehouse of product. You cannot sit on a where each of these boxes is an employee's paycheck. Each of these boxes is a electric or internet bill. That you, each of these boxes is some percentage of rent that you need to pay at the end of the month. Or a collection that you can pick up and resell. Or opportunity. Each of those boxes is the opportunity cost that you are not realizing. Right? Imagine a bubble tea cafe. And instead of selling bubble tea, they want to invest in the bubble tea thing. Eventually, everything will go to zero because they will rot. The tapioca will go to zero. The, the mixture, even though it has very long expiration dates, will expire. You are a bubble tea place. You need, you're in the business of selling mother effing bubble tea. You are a magic, you are a local game store. You're in the business of selling trading cards and other goods, right? And if it doesn't sell, you can't carry, you cannot carry a product that you buy at 70, that somebody like Alpha Investment, a partner buys at lower than 70, and they give him a promo, and they give him a play mat. Because no one would ever buy, if, if I had to sell MetaZoo box at 100, and Alpha Investment sells at 100, but you get a $100 promo, or you get a free play mat, or you get whatever like he's get, giving them. You, as a local game store, probably don't even have a YouTube channel. You don't have an eBay account as massive as, as him. You are going to be absolutely mauled, obliterated by Alpha Investments. Because you're not buying at the lowest price point that he's able to get at. You, there's no promo with your face on it. There's no promo math. There's nothing of this. You are at a severe disadvantage. Say what you will about Pokemon. Say what you will about Magic the Gathering. Say what you will about Yu-Gi-Oh. They don't put stores. They don't have preferential treatment. So I'm just going to go ahead and just say it. They 
had treated Rudy really, really well, right? He's got promos every set. And, and you might say, okay, well, this is just how it goes, right? I mean, if you want Rudy to get involved in your game, you must give him promos and free stuff, right? That's what Flesh and Blood did. Take a, I, I, I urge you to take a look in that community right now and see what they feel about Rudy, right? No, I, I'm not joking. They figured it out. And it was the local game stores that were, the, in my opinion, the hero. They figured something very valuable out that Rudy will never let you on. But he thinks, oh, they all hate me and they screenshot my low price. They cannot operate a game store. They have overhead that Rudy doesn't have. They have employees. They have judges. They have gameplay. They give promos. So many of these stores, to promote this community, will lose money. They will give more prizes. You see the Alpha Investment 6.9? He's just ripping people off. But there are game stores out there that give more than they get to build the community initially, hopefully reaping the rewards later down. That's how you build a physical in-person community. It's very different than how you build an online community with 6 9 memes. 6 9 6 9 6 9 Mystery Box 6 9 I mean, just think about how... Just, Use your brain for once, Timmy. Use your brain for once, Timmy. Just use your brain one time, please, in your life. If a game store has higher expenses and they have lower margins, right? They don't get no promo cards. They don't have a bundle to sell you for $8,200. They don't have an, a massive YouTube audience that is now diminishing, diminishing right? Please. Please think about this for a moment in time. How is that game store ever going to compete against Alpha Investment? Why should that game store ever create a community? They spent all this time, all this money creating community only for that community then to play in their stores with Rudy promos. And you know every dude who has a Rudy promo bought a Rudy kit and they're not buying a boosted box from you. How do you think that makes a game store owner feel? No, I, I'm, I'm straight up. When they, the people come in and play MetaZoo with a Rudy playmat and a Rudy promo, when you know that you're a game show, you're a physical, you know what that means. It means that that dude is not buying MetaZoo from you. Even though you provided it in place. And it, it's just human nature, guys. You drop the game faster than you drop. I mean, the soap will be dropped. And bad things happen when the soap is dropped. So... Rudy doesn't understand why local game stores are screenshotting him and sending it into LG LSS. He doesn't get it, right? He, he will never understand it because he doesn't own a real store. He, he, he's never been part of a real community. He doesn't play these card games, guys. When I moved to Houston, the first thing I did was try to find a local game store. I went to every local game store and I found one that I liked that was close to me. Community means a lot to me. And there's a shit ton of mother effers pretending community means a lot to them when all they do is sell shit to that community. I've seen it before. <laughs>